symbols you'll see there, they'll soon disappear. You might get the odd page here and there where you've got white lines to start with. Well, don't worry, they will soon go. It's just a matter of a few prints. Still going through its setup process. And there, it has recognised the cartridges. Now, I haven't uh, got this uh, connected up to a PC, so what we've got to do is do a scan to show you it printing. So I'll just go uh, get some paper and we'll get ready to scan the bit that I've put in there. Right, I've put some paper in the back. I've got a uh, sheet under the scanner, what came with the print I think that was. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan it now to show you that the uh, CIS does print fine. I've press the scan button by the way. And it's now scanning. I am going to put the lid down short there, just to see it printed. And there you go, that's starting to print now. So I'm going to put the lid down, because this is obviously important that people want to see that it works with the lid down. And there you go, the printer lid is down. This won't be a brilliant print now because there will be some air in it and also it will be set to its worst print quality anyway with it being just a normal scan. The main thing is that I'll show you it working. And you can see the paper coming out now. That's printed, not a great print to be honest, it's its first print, it's got some air in there, and it's set to low uh, standard, but you can see that it's printing fine. So, that's how to set it up. Just a couple of tips now before I finish. Right, I've lifted the lid back up. Right, a couple of things to remember. You see IS bottles, these bottles here. Very important this is that you put them on the same level as your printer. Right, these are on the table. If you print it on the table, the CIS bottles must be on the table. Don't put them higher because you will get a lot of leakage. The ink will go from there and all appear into your printer within a few hours. So it's important they stay on the same level. Don't put them too low neither. Also, you've got to have these little air filters in here. You take the small bung out and put your air filters in. Let's air in, but won't let it fly out if you accidentally knock it, won't let ink go everywhere. You leave the big bung in. Don't forget you've got to cut these off. I used a hot knife. You use whatever you want, but I don't recommend sawing it. But I must say again that if you use a hot knife and burn yourself, then it is not my fault. I can only tell you how I do it. So there's two pieces off each side of this cartridge carrier. And finally, once more, that if you do buy the SX105 set up with a CIS from me in one of my uh, sites, then you must understand you are buying it with this mutilation already done. Despite it being a brand new printer, I am going to do this just to save any problems for people who have bought it. You are buying it on the knowledge that that will be done. Okay, that's about it. Sorry, I'm sorry for about having to say those sort of things, but you do get some people who uh, would want to buy it, do this themselves, mess it up, and then expect me to give them their money back. That's the end of it then. Oh, uh, there isn't. There's one more thing. 
the um, cartridge carrier, it's the um, reset button at the back. I can't pull it out at the moment, it's set there. But there's a little reset button that sticks up here, out the back of the cartridges. You print the thing that you can't, for instance, your black cartridges run out. You'll say your black cartridges run out or cannot recognize black. All you do is you press your button or go through your software on your computer to bring your carriage to here. Then it'll expect you to take the black out and put another black in. But you don't. You get that little button, you press hold of it, keep hold of it for five seconds, let go, press continue, and then your black is full again. That's a little reset button that's sticking up at the back. You will have seen it earlier on. That's how to reset the levels on your cartridges, but it will only reset the one that it says is out. If three all of a sudden run out, it will reset all three. But if only one is supposed to have run out, it will only reset that one and the others at a later time. If you've got any questions, my phone number will be on at the end of the listing, or you can email me through the site. Thanks for watching.